Hi there guys, so in today's video we are talking about scientific notation. Now, they do mention to us that if a number is particularly long, especially if a number has lots of zeros or it is really small, okay, with lots of zeros uh, after the comma, then we can also write it in a different format. And this format is called scientific notation. So, for argument's sake, or for example, if I've got a number that looks like this, Now, first of all, what is that number? Remember, we've got nine zeros, which means it's a billion, which means this is actually 13 billion. Okay, but if we don't want to um, write it like that, we can write it in scientific notation, which means this can be written as 1, 3 multiplied by 10 to the power 10. All right, let's look at another one. 67 and let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, that's 15 zeros. We can see there 15, it's 15 zeros, but I've also got two spaces over here or two numbers over here. So when I write that out in scientific notation, I can say 5 comma six seven multiplied by ten to the power of what we've got fifteen plus these two because this would normally be zeros so that's going to be seventeen and that's how I get that but let's look at the other way as well what if I've got a number that looks like this How many zeros do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then again over there 11. So this can be written as 4 multiplied by, again, my base is 10, but this time instead of it being a positive movement, it is a negative movement, right? I'm moving the 4 all the way down. So it's going to be negative, and why is it 11? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 